So welcome back, um, tutorial 11, part 5. Um, this will be the final session of an introduction to the Softlayer APIs. And my name is Eamon Killian, just in case you've dived in on this video. I've been doing a short series of tutorials on how to get started using IBM Softlayer. We've just been through uh, proving that the show account works on our system here. So now let's race through the others very, very quickly. So I've gone back into simplesite.js um, and I'm going to basically cut and paste now because we've proven the first one. We've got another three to do. So there's the three. Let's call it check. Uh, what are we saying? Check users. Right. So let's make this check users. Um, check machines. And finally, make machine. That should do. I'm going to save that. Um, into our HTML and again we're going to grab the form and we're going to put this form into each one of these LIs and just edit it then. So there we go. All right. And it was check account, check users, um, check hardware or did I call it check machines? Let's just go back and see. Check machines, check users, check machines. Okay, check machines, and then make machine. Lovely. Um, this will be a post because we're actually gonna send information to the server. We can do that with a get as well, but just for the purposes of having it in our minds, we'll call it a, a, a post. Um, and then we're gonna just write the programs. Um, this will be get user info, users info, get um, hardware info, I better call that get user info, no users, yeah. And let's just call this make machine. Okay. So that all looks good. Check user, check account, yeah. Okay, save. Um, here's our get account. So again, similar thing. Let's open a new file, PHP file. Get users info, info.php. We want to have another one called uh, get hardware info whoops dot php i keep doing in for for some reason and then the last one php file uh, make machines dot php so let's just check now i've got get info get account info get users info get hardware info okay make machine do i call it make machines you can see it up here uh, get hardware info get hardware info, yeah, get users info, yeah, and get account info, right, fine, fabulous. So let's deal with, uh, in the order, users, okay. So in users, well, let's go and grab all of this because we've already done it once. Get rid of this, paste it in. We're requiring that, we've got the API key, we're all happy with that. Um, this is gonna be users details. And this time, we're going to um, grab the software account and on dollar client, instead of get object, which is the overall account object, we're actually going to get users. And that's going to return all the users and then pipe it out like this. So that's going to return users. Um, Let's say this is dollar users, just to keep it more readable. And this time I know it's going to return, rather than uh, a full object flow um, from the class, it's actually going to return a list of the users. So we're going to walk through all of the users 
but each user is going to have a sub um, how do I describe this right so it's going to return us an array of objects so the array of users I'm going to take as one by one as a bit and then I'm going to do another for each on that bit as this time the key and the value. Now, how do you know this before having ever done this before? Um, well, I guess you don't, but what you could do is if we did all of this, if I comment all of this out, you can actually see what you're returned. Um, whoops, I should have changed that one as well. If I print our dollar users, we can actually see what's coming back at us. I think that'll work all fine. Exception, get message, right, save that. Reload this page. Let's see what we get on, whoops, uh -huh. another little issue at show users, show hardware, and make machine save that okay show users let's see what comes back right this is what I meant so when you first start um, playing let's call it that or developing with the API's it's good to actually do this so you can you can just get the entire array sent back to you so you can see what information there is and then you can see here that this is array so we're, we've been returned an array and in that array the zero element is a standard object and then within that object we have lots of account ID address address random yeah we get all of these fields so what we actually want to do is we want to um, we want to isolate the pieces of information in that object that we actually want to see. So I know, for instance, so if I take this out now, we can see from that that we have an array of objects. So the first thing we're going to do is get all the users, or, you know, it'd be better to call this an object again. Yeah. Let's call that my object. So we're going to take the object and we're going to isolate a piece of it yeah piece of it piece of it yeah and then within so the array is within there um we're going to say there's a key value a set of key value pairs and then within that we're going to have a little if statement so if uh, the key is equal to um, user, yeah, username. Then echo out this because that's all we're interested in for this particular API call. We just want to see the users. So that should do it. That should give us, and that will be a key and a value. Yep, yeah, that should be fine. Let's see what that gives us. Show users. And there we have it. There's my two users, usernames. So again, very quickly been able to create the user details. We'll do the same again. Let's just copy all of this. We want the hardware information. So, as you can see, the more you work with these things, the more you get used to them, you're able to grab what you want. We're again grabbing it from the software account. And this time, we're gonna say that my object which is fine. Um, it's not user details. It's uh, current machines details. Uh, we'll have a table again. And this time, my object as piece, might as well do it like that again. Um, each piece is key value. This time, if it's equal to um, in fact, are we going to 
Right, sorry, we're not getting users this time. This time we're getting the virtual guests. Now you can see all of the APIs on, uh, on software. You can actually go in and investigate them by um, PHP software API. You can go to here, the software development network, and you can read much more about all of the object mass, which we'll be touching in a minute, and the overall API, and all of the methods that are there. So I know that we need to make a shout out to get virtual guests. That's going to return us an object, um, and I won't need an if statement at all because it will be the machines that are returned to us. So that's with that one. Yeah, there's too many. That's fine. Okay. I think that will work fine. Let's see. Yep, yeah, there it is. And there's our machines. So I currently have one machine running, and that's it. So that one's working. So the last one is about making machines, which is where we'll have to do a little bit more work here and create an object mask because we're going to be sending through information, posting into the API information about what it is we want it to create for us. So I'm going to pause it there. That will take care of this part. And then we'll concentrate on make machines when we come back.